What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm bringing you some exciting news concerning Final Fantasy VII The Remake. This game has been on the radar for a few years now and I've thought 2017, 2018 possible release dates for the game. We know that the development team is partitioning the game into multiple parts, three parts at least. And when I initially heard that news, I kind of got scared. I was thinking that it would be small little portions of the game like the Walking Dead episodes or something. But then we got later news that each one of these sections of the game would be the full size of a full Final Fantasy game like Final Fantasy 13. So that news was really exciting and interesting. Now there's some new information out that's floating around the interwebs and it's really exciting about the possible release date for Final Fantasy VII The Remake. I'll drop a link in the description. Final Fantasy VII Remake Release Date Update. PS4 and Xbox One editions listed for 2017. Final Fantasy VII fans will be happy to hear that the upcoming remake is currently being advertised with a 2017 release date. The Final Fantasy VII Remake release date might be sooner than you think. Square has barely discussed the Final Fantasy VII Remake at all since announcing the game at E3 2015, but there's encouraging signs on Australian retail site EB Games. The Final Fantasy VII Remake is being advertised for 2017 on the retail site, although Square Enix has yet to make an official announcement. And even better news, the game is also being advertised for Xbox One, although it's unclear how far apart the two versions will land. Final Fantasy Remake was announced at the Sony E3 press conference where it was revealed that fans could play on the PS4 first. While timed exclusivity is implied, this is the first time an Xbox One version has been spotted online. Hopefully a Nintendo Switch version is also in the works. With few updates since the original announcement, fans were worried that Final Fantasy VII would be scrapped. However, the game director Tetsuya Nomura recently confirmed that a new Final Fantasy VII announcement is coming although no date has been announced. Quote, I know I haven't given any information in a while, but please rest assured that work is moving forward steadily. We are currently getting specifics ready for the next information release. And just like we've done with Kingdom Hearts 2.8 this time, we plan to bring a whole lot out in one go instead of dribs and drabs, so please look forward to it. I am looking forward to the reveals myself. I still don't know the timing for what we will be able to show you next, so I can't give any details, but please be excited, end quote. Fans are hoping for a Final Fantasy VII release date to be announced, or possibly just a target window like Holiday 2017. The Final Fantasy VII development team will draw inspiration from the 2005 film Advent Children. This is especially true of the visual style, not to mention some of the narrative changes and tweaks. The combat, meanwhile, looks much more action-packed, ditching the turn-based battles from the original PS1 release. The game is also being released in three separate parts, which will allow Square Enix to fit everything in, and even add some new features. In the meantime, you can check out Final Fantasy XV. This is awesome news, guys. Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to really knock the socks off of everybody, old school gamers, new gamers alike. Uh, this ad from EB Games is really interesting, showing the Xbox One version at a placeholder price of $109.95. Uh, it's going to happen for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. This is great news, guys. 2017 release date. It's coming to the Xbox One as well. This is the first time I've heard anything about that. It's really super good news for people on the Xbox One. The pre-order says $109.95. It's possible they could be charging this much for the entire game. That may be because each one of the discs are the size of a full Final Fantasy game. This has been stated before by the development staff. So if each disc is the same size of a regular Final Fantasy game, this is going to be a gigantic game and it, it might be worth $110 and I'd definitely pay for it. Xbox One and PlayStation 4 will be getting this game hopefully sometime this year. I'm looking forward to any new information and as soon as I get it, you can believe it will be on the Beastly Gamer channel. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Final Fantasy VII The Remake, 2017 possible release date and possible big news from the developer sometime really soon. I'm excited. You let me know. Are you excited in the comments below? Be sure to give a thumbs up to show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.